We are back on Morning Line. Our guest, Allison Fields, our final segment. We've got oh several phone calls coming in. 737-7587. Who's up? Waiting on the horn next is Rick, I think. Yes, is that you, Rick? Yes, it is. Good morning. How can we help you? Yes, our sweet cat suffers from allergies. And the vet right now has her on an allergy tablet that we give her uh, daily. Sometimes she can have a good day and we fun. don't have to give her one. Um, and she also recommended an infant nasal spray, little noses that she said would be effective. Do you have anything you recommend that is very effective for cat allergies? Huh. Um, that's a great question. I have used little noses in the past. Um, it is an off-label use of that medication, um, meaning that it is not labeled for cats or dogs. It's labeled for human infants. Um, but veterinarians mm. are the only medical professional in this country that can use drugs mm. off-label. So you, you just do need to know that. Um, I've used it. Uh, I don't know that I've used it chronically. Um, other than I'm assuming it's an antihistamine that they have your cat on. Um, the other thing that you could maybe talk to your vet about is going to see a dermatologist. We have several in the Nashville area um, and being allergy tested. A lot of times if we can figure out what the actual allergen is, then we can do allergy injections just like people go get their mm -hmm. allergy shots, um, which can really relieve a lot of things. and. At the beginning, allergy shots are very frequent, but by the end of the first, I think like 42 days, you're down to once a month. Um, and so that's a whole lot easier than having to pill your cat every day. Um, I do think that there are blood tests for allergens, and then there is this intradermal skin testing. I think that if you're gonna spend the money to do it, do the skin testing. It's much more uh, accurate, and you're gonna get much better results. But if it's truly allergies, you may wanna look at trying to get rid of the allergies by allergen injections than continuing to have to medicate your cat. Mm -hmm. To answer your specific question, um, an antihistamine, whether it's uh, chlorpheniramine or Benadryl, um, usually I use chlorpheniramine in cats, um, that's about, about it. I don't know what medication she's on to, to be able to mm -hmm. answer if that's what I would use or not, but yeah, unfortunately, allergies are a pain in the neck oh, as yeah. most people in middle tennessee know yeah it's and it affects humans it affects pets it does and, you know all kinds contact dermatitis our crazy beagle right let's go to, yeah so <laughs> let's get a mike mike good morning hi mike yes good morning hey. i've got a couple of questions i've got a uh, an older dog that got skunked the other night uh. <laughs> will he learn from that nope. and number two <laughs> He won't. Nope. <laughs> okay. They won't learn well, about skunks. They don't learn about cars, and they don't learn about overeating the cat food. Uh, <laughs> Not gonna happen. Well, that's bad news. The other thing is, he had a little bit of black stuff in his ear that I don't know if it's related to it or not. One of his ears. Probably not. Okay. And the last thing is, he's a shedder. I mean, a really bad shedder. Uh huh. And I bought a bodysuit to keep from getting a divorce. I don't know if it's gonna work. Do you know if? Uh, do you have any problems with dog suits? Uh, what is that? No, what I is, don't know. So it? a lot of times, is he a long-haired dog? Yeah. No, well, no, he's a short. I mean, I'd say about an inch long with all his hair. Okay. Is, but it just comes out all the time. Okay, yeah. So there are some dogs that just shed all the time. Um, you can try the bodysuit. I've seen those. I don't know that what they're What are they? There's like a little jumpsuit that yeah, you zip up? Yeah, it's and like, like, a a, like a thunder, Like a thunder shirt no, kind of? No, they're not that tight, but oh. they're like for, they're like onesies for dogs. Huh. Um, yeah. We okay. use them for like wound, like if they have a wound that we don't want them to lick, we can right. do that, but this would be a thing. The other thing you might consider is purchasing a Roomba for your wife for Christmas. <laughs> Seriously. Uh, the, I have you know, lots I have, of people who have a dogs that shed a whole lot and they just broke down, got a Roomba, and that way yeah, we did. people aren't, do you love yours? Yeah, Roombas are great. I mean, yeah. Yeah. You know, I've tried that. He, it's just a really bad shedding problem, but uh, you don't think it would hurt for him to wear it, though, do you? I don't think it would hurt for him to wear it. I don't know that I would leave it on him all the time. Um, right. You know, I think that I think that he's going to need some time to have some some breathing skin. Um, right. The other thing you might want to do is just talk to your vet about um, maybe his nutrition, what food is he on, 
um, you know, if there's there are some skin supplements that can help with that. So you may just want to talk to your vet about is there a better food that we can put them on? I'm not saying that what you're feeding is not good. I'm just saying maybe there's something that might be better for him um, or any supplements that they might have. By the way, I had not heard of body suits. Um, I'm just <laughs> curious, if with that body suit, does it have holes I don't for know. them to urinate? I think so. or, okay. I, well, I have not seen one. I have seen pictures of them. I've seen them like in journals talking about, yeah. you know, we use this for to cover this part of the body that we couldn't bandage so the dog wouldn't lick it. Yeah. I'm assuming there would be holes for tails and such. Okay. Um, we'll have to look that up. <laughs> it's a save his marriage. What he said. Right. I'm telling you, the Roomba <laughs> might be a better option. Yeah. But good for him. We're good thinking. All right. Let's go next to Dennis. Hello, Dennis. Yes. Hi. How can we help you? Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Um, I have a cat who is a, a little on the older side. Um, she'll be 15 in February. And a knot came up on uh, her face last week. And I took her to the vet, and she was diagnosed with a mast cell tumor. Okay. And uh, basically, the uh, veterinarian, my veterinarian told me that... Uh, basically had two choices to either have it removed or let her go and uh i'm i'm, I'm really leaning towards having it removed and I, I was wondering what the prognosis would be on on something like that where is it on her face it is below her eye how big is it it is pretty big <laughs> okay so First of all, I don't think you have to make the decision to remove it or euthanize her this week. I think that the decision is remove it or continue to let it grow and at some point euthanize her because it's gotten so big. So yes. there's that option. But I think that um, I had a cat with a mast cell tumor. I didn't know that it was a mast cell tumor until I took it off. No. Hmm. I, I did aspirate it. It came back mast cell tumor. Um, hmm. And she was probably... Ugh, 13, 14, um, I took it off. She lived to be like 18. Huh. Um, but it's totally up to you. It depends on how, I mean, it's it's hard not seeing it, but it depends on how big it is and how the, the doctor feels it will be to remove. Does he feel like it's going to be a fairly, you know, straightforward, let's take this out and not have, a, there's just not a whole lot of skin on a little bitty cat face mm -hmm. to close after if it's so big. So I would talk to him about what he thinks the surgery itself, how, what the recovery time for the cat would be and how he thinks the cat just would heal. And if that seems too overwhelming, then maybe you just let her be and be happy for as long as she wants to and leave it there. Right. Yeah. I have talked to him about it and um, um, he said the, uh, the surgery um, would not be very complicated. It's just her age. Um, he said, he, okay. I, I think I can remove it uh, pretty pretty easily. Okay. Well, and, then I'm um, sure that they're going to do blood work before they put her under anesthesia mm -hmm. and make sure everything looks okay to filter yes. the anesthesia. And if the yes, blood they work said looks they good, would do blood work and, and if, look, yeah. if any of the um, um, uh, medications they were going to use uh, during the surgery would would damage her liver or kidneys or anything that they would just call off the surgery. Sure. Yeah, I think then go for it. If he said it wasn't going to be complicated to get it off, do it. Yeah. Yeah. Is this a, is that a cancer or is it a tumor? It's a can is a it tumor is a cancer. Okay, would it come back <clears throat> necessarily? Could it? Don't know. Okay. Um, mast cell tumors can come back. They can have a local recurrence. They can also recur at other parts of the body. Okay. Um, they don't typically metastasize that commonly hmm. in cats, hmm. um, which is good. My cat never had another no, one. Okay, that's, I guess that's what I was um, after, if it could metastasize. But I think it can, but I think it's less common. Less common in cats than it is in dogs. Gotcha. Um, but yeah, if the, if your vet said it's not going to be complicated to remove it, I'd say go for it. Yeah. Good for you, Dennis, putting a lot of thought into yeah. that. And I'm glad, I'm really glad you called. Good luck with your kitty. Let's go next to Wayne. Hi, Wayne. Yeah, good morning, Nick. I appreciate the time. Good morning. Sure. Yeah. What can we do for you? Okay. I got a situation. I've been raised with cats all my life. Hmm. 
but I had two Siamese females. The oldest is 26 years old, oh. and her daughter is 24 years old. Wow. Now, the oldest one, Tara, she won't eat, but when the youngest one tries to eat, the oldest one fusses at the youngest one. And I'm just wondering, is there such a thing in cats where they have disorders as they get older, like people like Alzheimer's? I mean, it's yep, like a cat is basically... Yep, they can get know. some senility wow. functions. That, I think how, that's old. How old is that? That's really old. That's really old. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Man. I think that I'm sure that you've been doing this, but I think if you haven't been to the vet for some blood work uh, for those two uh, exceedingly geriatric kitty mm -hmm. cats, that would be great. Uh, if she's not eating in general, I think she needs some blood work. But yeah, keeping up on making sure everything's okay is really helpful. If he's worried about just the mental acuity, do crossword puzzles help? <laughs> yeah, just try to get them <laughs> sit, sit still and hold the pencil. Um, or okay. pen if they're Let's really daring. Let's see if we can daring. squeeze in Kim okay. real quick on this because she was waiting through the last caller. Kim, go ahead, Kim. Uh, hi, Nick, hi. and hi, Dr. Fields. Hi. I want to just uh, say thank you to you guys today for thank mentioning you. the um, stress that the uh, veterinarians go through. I'm yeah. the mother of a veterinarian, and uh, the reality of their life as a veterinarian, a small business owner, yep. wives, mothers, cannot be overemphasized. Thank you for calling. It, thank it you really for that. Well, yeah, I just don't understand anyone who, whether it's a veterinarian or someone else, not treating someone you're dealing with with respect. It's well, absurd. Well, and the, the hard part is they and get it, online and they slander us. And that's and awful. And according to HIPAA regulations, we can't. You can't say anything. We can't say anything. Our hands yeah. are tied. Yeah, it's tough. Real quick, um, puppuccinos. Puppuccinos. I just have to ask because I yeah. have a friend whose dog every Yours? Sunday. No, no, not us. No. I, I go and order a puppuccino myself. Yourself. I've had a couple of those. I, it's, it's just ready whip. I guess it's yeah. yummy. But it's just I have whip. to ask you, puppuccinos is something um, maybe other coffee shops do, but yeah. Starbucks yeah. has puppuccinos. Yeah. And the dogs, she tells me, just they're waiting. They can't wait. What's your take? And it's not like she does it every day. So only on the weekend. What do you think of a pup treat? It's such a small amount. Okay. I, I don't really think it's, it's treat. that big nice of a deal. Treat. I mean, mostly it's cream and with <laughs> a little bit of sugar, but typically it's it's like Ready Whip. It's just it's, it's something. Yeah, I think it's a little more than cream. Ready Whip. It's kind of liquidy. It's like uh, all I know is I had to sample it before I let Bart try it. And what did you or think? It was yummy. Right. I, I went in there and said, I'll have my coffee. I want one of those puppuccinos to see what it's like. And the puppuccinos, <laughs> I think, are free. I mean, they give you that. Yeah. You know, when you go through you the drive through you buy your coffee. They give you. Have so, you yeah, ever gotten one? No, I don't go to Starbucks. Okay, I've been I just to didn't Starbucks know if you approximately might have... three times okay, in I my life. Okay, I just didn't know if you would let your dog have one. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, when we went through, I think Chick-fil-A gives out dog bones. Okay, and, yeah. And yeah. um, a lot of the banks, except I've been through a drive through and I don't even yeah, know Yeah, banks give biscuits out. Yeah. You know? So, Harper gets really excited when... But, yeah, if we Harper. went to a Starbucks, we would have a... <laughs> A puppuccino. I heard it I, makes I quite a slobbery coffee, mess, so, yeah, but it's fine. No. <laughs> Yes. Okay, I just had to throw that one out there. All right, so just uh, so we know, again, it's this time of year, cold. Watch your animals. Make sure they have bedding if they're outside for any reason. Do not chain them up and hold them outside. Make sure their water is not frozen. Yes, all of that. And have a Merry Christmas. Have a Merry Christmas. Don't put tinsel on your Christmas trees. No. Your cats will eat. It'll be a linear foreign body. Don't have you ever do had it. a cat come in electrocuted for chewing on yes. an electric cord? Yes. Because, I mean, I remember the Chevy Chase movie where they did that. Yes. And that actually happened. Yes. Bunny rabbits, too. Thank you for coming on. Happy holidays. Happy we'll see holidays. you in the new year. I'll be Merry back to wrap things up Happy right Hanukkah. after this. Happy Hanukkah. Kwanzaa. Happy holidays. Yep, indeed. Just enjoy yourself <laughs> and be kind. Be kind, people. Be kind. Have you